simplex algorithm minimization case and the constraints are of greater than or equal type convert it to equation by subtracting the surplus variables to avoid violation of non negativity condition of surplus variable we add artificial variable ai to get an initial basic feasible solution artificial variable have no meaning in physical sense and are only used as a tool for generating an initial lpp solution before the final simplex solution is reached all artificial variables must be dropped from the solution mix which is done by assigning appropriate coefficients to these variables in the activity functions these variables are added to those constraints with the equality and greater than or equal to sign the artificial variables are removed using bigger method in which we assign coefficients to artificial variables if the objective is to minimize then a very large positive price or penalty is assigned to each artificial variables similarly if it is to maximize then a very large negative price or penalty is assigned to each artificial variables at any iteration of the simplex algorithm any one of the following case may arise if at least one artificial variable is present in the basis with a zero value and the coefficient of m in each cj minus cj value is non negative then the problem has no solution second one is if at least one artificial variable is present in the basis with a positive value and the coefficient of m in each cj minus cj value is non negative then there is no optimum basic feasible solution some complications in simplex problem first one is unrestricted variables in many practical situations one or more variables can have either positive negative or zero value such variables are unrestricted variables to use simplex method all unrestricted variables expressed as the difference of two non negative variables second complication is type for entering basic variable a situation may arise at the iteration when two or more columns may have exactly same cj minus cj value in such a situation we can choose the columns arbitrarily or if the tie is between decision variable and slack variable choose decision variables the third complication is tie for leaving basic variable which is known as degeneracy if the minimum ratio is not unique or values of one or more basic variables in the xb column become zero then the simplex iterations are repeated indefinitely without arriving the optimal solution which is known as degeneracy find solution using simplex method maximize is equal to 19x1 plus 7x2 subject to 7x1 plus 6x2 less than or equal to 42 5x1 plus 9x2 less than or equal to 45, x1 minus x2 less than or equal to 4, and x1 x2 less than or equal to 0. Here we can see that there are two variables x1 x2 and three constraints. Now the problem is converted to canonical form or standard form by adding slack, surplus, or artificial variables appropriately. As the constraint one is of the type less than or equal to we should add the slack variable as one and the second constraint also of less than or equal to type we should add second slack variable as two and the third constraint also is less than or equal to type add the third slack variable as three after introducing slack variables the problem becomes maximize is it equal to 19x1 plus 7x2 plus 0s1 plus 0 into s2 plus 0 into s3 subject to 7x1 plus 6x2 plus s1 equal to 42 5x1 plus 9x2 plus s2 equal to 45 x1 minus x2 plus s3 equal to 4 and x1 x2 s1 s2 s3 all greater than or equal to 0 this is known as the standard form of an lpp now we can form the initial simplex table or iteration 1 in this table the first column corresponds to the basic variables here the basic variables are the slack variables s1 s2 s3 the second column corresponds to 
the coefficients of this basic variables in the objective function they are 0 0 0 and the next column corresponds to the right side value right hand side values in the equation and next column x1 x2 s1 s2 s3 this corresponds to the values of the coefficients in the equation and this cj values are they are corresponds to the coefficients of x1 x2 s1 s2 s3 in the objective function after that we can calculate z value is it equal to sigma cb into xb so 0 into 42 plus 0 into 45 plus 0 into 4 so equal to 0 then zj corresponds to sigma cb into xj that is first corresponding to the first column here 0 into 7 plus 0 into 5 plus 0 into 1 the value equal to 0 similarly we can calculate other values in that row then calculate cj minus zj that is the net value then cj zj values are here we can calculate the corresponding values in that row is 197000 after writing all the values in the table see that the cj minus zj value if the values are negative then that corresponds that the solution is optimal here the values are not negative so we have to see the living and entering variable that is look at the positive maximum of cj minus hj here it is 19 and the column index is 1 so that corresponds to the variable x1 so we can decide the entering variable is x1 next uh, we have to see which is the living variable for that use the minimum ratio so to calculate the minimum ratio calculate xb by x1 so here xb value is 42 x1 value equal to 7 so 42 by 7 equal to 6 similarly 45 by 5 equal to 9 and 4 by 1 equal to 4 then of these values which is minimum minimum is minimum value is 4 that corresponds to the row s3 so here the living variable will be s3 and look at the living row and entering column the intersection is known as the pivot element here the pivot element is 1 Next, we have to form the next table that is iteration 2. To form the table, what we have to do is look at the pivot element. If the pivot element is 1, try to make other elements in that column 0. For that, we can use some elementary row operations. Here, the pivot element cons containing in the third row. So, keep it that row itself. So, new R3 equal to old R3 then new R1 will be equal to old R1 minus 7 times new R3 and new R2 equal to old R2 minus 5 times new R3 if you do these row operations we can make the elements in the pivot column 0 look at this table The first column corresponds to the basic variable. So in that column S1, S2 instead of S3, S3 leaves and X1 enters. And next column corresponds to the coefficient of basic variables in the objective function. So you write 0, 0, 90. Then next values in the table we will get 
from this elementary operations. So this will be the table. Next we can evaluate Z value as in the previous table. Z is equal to 76. Then calculate Z values. Then calculate Cj minus Z. So we can see that from this table here there is a positive value. If all the values are negative then we can see that solution is optimal. Here the positive value is the so that column corresponds to x2. So the entering variable is x2. Now we have to find the living variable. For that use the minimum ratio rule that is calculate xb by x2. Then x2 must be greater than 0. Then calculate 14 by 13. Then 25 by 14. Here in the next x value, x, since it is negative, we cannot calculate that value. So, look at these two values. Minimum is 14 by 13. So, corresponding to that row is S1. So, S1 will be the living variable. Then, the intersection of S1 and X2, S1 row and X2 column, the value is 13. It is known as the pivot element. From the previous table, we can see that the pivot element is 13. Next, to form the next table, you have to make that pivot element 1 and all other elements in that column 0. For that, we have to use the elementary row transformations. So, the elementary row transformations are new R1 equal to old R1 divided by 30. Then new R2 equal to old R2 minus 14 into new R1. And new R3 equal to old R3 plus new R1. So, the new table becomes the basic variables are x2, s2, x1 and the corresponding values coefficients in the objective function are 7, 0, 90. Then all other elements in that remaining columns we will get from the previous row operations. Then calculate z, then see is it j values are here. Then calculate the net value Cj minus Hj and we can see that all the values are less than or equal to 0. That indicates that the solution is optimal. Since all Cj minus Hj less than or equal to 0, the optimal solution is arrived with the value of the variable as x1 equal to 66 by 13, x2 equal to 14 by 13 and maximum value is equal to 104.